Modern animals actually make colours in two different ways. Um, what we're probably most familiar with are um, pigments. Pigments are chemicals and they make colour by absorbing light of certain wavelengths. So um, the colours of our hair and our skin are made using pigments. They're made using the pigment melanin. Um, but many other animals make colours um, using a different mechanism. Um, instead of using chemicals, they use little structures in their tissues. So here in this jewel beetle, this wonderful iridescent um, blue-green colour is actually generated by tiny little structures in the tough outer layer of the insect. Um, and these little structures, um, these colour producing structures, they scatter light in a very coherent way so we get constructive interference. So instead of just a matte colour being reflected from the surface, we get a very bright, very pure colour being reflected, um, almost like a mirror. So what we're doing here is we're putting our samples into the autoclave um, and we, we're pumping in argon gas to increase the pressure and we're also heating up the autoclave. So by increasing the temperature and increasing the pressure, we're simulating conditions that we get deep inside the Earth's crust. So we're essentially simulating what's happening to colour in animals when they get fossilised. So, so by taking modern animals um, where we know how they're producing their colour, um, by studying what happens to the structures in their tissues and by studying what happens to the chemicals during this experiment, we can actually then go back to the fossil record to understand you know, why the colours of fossil animals are changing during the fossilisation process.